So many things that are not useful, okay? And he gave the example of smoking. So we can start like this. Many, many students use their pocket money or spend spend their pocket money money on useless stuff useless stuff some of them spend it on smoking which is dangerous as it causes lung diseases okay Others spend it on chocolate and sweets, which results in or leads to, which results in tooth decay. Stop. This is my introductory sentence. Then you start giving them advice. I think they should. Can you finish the sentence, Gavin? Yes. Uh, oh my goodness. Sorry. He's out again. Okay, Kevin. Yes. Give up smoking. Okay. They should give up smoking and use that money or uh, okay. And use that money to buy books or yes can you add something mm -hmm. or two or stationaries books or stationaries it's the same the same um, or something useful, I mean. Or to do something useful. Okay. We'll stop. Give more advice now. Adding additionally, I like the word additionally, by the way. I don't like moreover and furthermore. So, additionally, what about saving money? What about saving money? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Or you'd rather, additionally, you'd rather to save your money. They draw there. They draw there. Open a bank account. And save that money to use it. 
spend it on trips on field trips what's about donating and supporting charity organizations yes it can be yeah can you make a sentence about that you can use this expression because the thing that we are going to talk about is is very important most Name's better okay most important of all this is the most important bit okay most important of all yes they or it is better for them it is better for them to use that money to support charity organizations Stop. Now let's write a short conclusion. Our parents give us pocket money on daily basis. To help us learn how to use it wisely. Okay, so you need an introductory paragraph and a conclusion. Be careful, guys. This is my introductory sentence. And this is my conclusion, okay? So remember, when writing your essay, you need a topic sentence. Introductory sentence. Then the body of your essay should include examples plus pieces of advice on the issue, on the problem. The last thing is your conclusion Then remember, remember to check your spelling, orthograph, commas, full stops. And capitals. Okay. Now I would like I will give you a homework. Okay. I would like you to rewrite your paragraphs at home and and send them to me. Okay. You hear me? 